Mexican. <laughs> Mexican. Mexican. We just got back from Mexican and we've had a couple of drinks and we decided that we were going to make each other one of our favorite drinks. Yes. And uh, because we have both such different tastes, we decided to Jamie make her favorite for me and I give my opinion on it and vice versa. So Jamie's going to go first and then we'll flip. Um, so Jamie's going to walk you through what her favorite is. So I'm going to make a version of the East Side. It's not actual, it's not an actual East Side, but I had this drink when Shane and I visited New York a few months back and I haven't been able to replicate it yet, but I got super close. So I'm actually going to make that for you tonight. So here we go. And so we're going to do, I'm actually going to do a double pour. So I'm doubling the recipe, but we're going to start with Hendrix gin. We're going to do four ounces of that. <laughs> Husband that, in the background. <laughs> that would be Mr. Odeja. <laughs> He's really excited. So Jamie and I were just talking that we both used to order vodka all the time, and that we <clears throat> more so recently kind of come around to gin. Um, so we're, we're trying a bunch of gin drinks too. So I have a recent love affair with gin now. Vodka is out for me. It's definitely gin all the way right now and this is St. Germain's and I'm using this instead of like a simple syrup and we just discovered this last week on vacation so we're going to do two ounces of this give or take <laughs> refreshing drinks and so this one has a lot of cucumber and mint and so um, I'm just gonna throw some mint leaves in here muddle those Just dump. <laughs> just add it all in. So, um, I think it was lime, not lemon. Oh, yeah, it was lime. 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 Yeah, that's, I've had a couple more. A <laughs> few margaritas in, and we're just making up stuff. In a way. I feel like I've forgotten something along the way, but we're about to put it down. <laughs> yeah, I'll find out when I taste it. Okay, so while she's mixing that, like very strong drinks. Um, I, I like gin. I like, I like it all. I like gin. I like vodka. I like bourbon. I like scotch. Um, I like tequila. Um, but I like very strong drinks. And I don't like a whole lot of frou-frou or sugar. So, um, and I really don't like cucumbers, truthfully. So we're going to see how, how this is. But Jamie lives by it. She's been trying to replicate it for Six, Six months? months? Yeah. So, she may love it. I may not. I don't know. Alright, so what are you, what are you calling this concoction? Hmm. I don't know if I've come up with a name of it yet. I don't know. It may... Cheers. Cheers. Alright, so... You can definitely smell the mint and the cucumber. Yes. Like, it's already, like, it has that refreshing smell before you even... And do you smell the cucumber and the mint? I feel like I smell the gin a little bit, mm -hmm. which makes me happy because it means it's strong. Oh, it's good. Okay. I did good. <laughs> that is good. Do you like it? I actually do. I was expecting it to be, I think, a little bit sweet mm -hmm. um, because of like the simple syrup or the St. Germain, but um, it's really not bad. It really is refreshing. I feel like it would be great for like a spring afternoon or summer or on vacation or even on a day that you're cooped up inside and you're just kind of like in the way with being inside so much you just kind of want something refreshing yeah this is my kind of drink though if we're going to like a speakeasy this is kind of what mm -hmm. i want to sit back and relax with I, i'm i'm surprised at how much i actually like this i think i could actually finish the drink a lot of things that um aren't bourbon heavy 
I tend to, or like vodka heavy, I tend not to complete <laughs> because they're not too sweet. I, I just can't deal. I, I would rather have like a shot of it that I sip on, I guess like a, a pour rather than like a drink. But this actually is, I cheers to you. I think you did a great job. Thanks For someone so. who isn't like a alcohol corner, alcohol consumer, <laughs> um, I'm impressed. So I, I would give this five stars. Thank you. So it's my turn now, and I'll be making a bucare for Jamie, um, one of my favorite drinks. I normally stick to bourbon heavy, as I mentioned. So this next drink is still bourbon heavy, but um, it's kind of a spin on a Manhattan or an old fashioned. So, which makes me super nervous. Here we go. Because we all know I'm not a huge drinker. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start with. Some rye bourbon. Um, I think bullet rye is probably the best for your money, um, and you obviously get a lot of it. Um, and it mixes really well, so you don't have to be concerned about um, spending a lot of money and not really, um, you know, mixing like a really, really good quality bourbon. Um, so I feel like I can sip on this or I can mix it. So I'm gonna make a double, just like Jamie did. So um, to make two drinks, I'm gonna do two ounces rye. And I'm also um, a step behind. I'm going to add a few ice cubes to keep the drink chilled because we are going to serve it neat, which means that it will not be served with ice, uh, but we're going to stir it over ice. Okay, <clears throat> so we're also going to add brandy. Oh, God. <laughs> going to do two ounces of brandy as well. I and I just want to smell that when you're done with it. Okay, hold on. Um, I just thought I'm probably making these a little bit stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, I have the tendency to do that. Um, actually, this smells really good. It's, it actually is. All right. Sweet vermouth is what's next on our list. We're going to do two ounces sweet vermouth, which is sweet vermouth. <laughs> um, so it, it's, I mean, this is what's in um, like the Manhattans that gotcha. I always make okay. as well. Um, okay, so one, two, um, so it's not, I don't think it's a liquor. I mean, it's just one of the mixers that you gotcha. mix okay. you know, with all your strong drinks. Okay. Um, I don't really know how you pronounce this one. Benedictine? So we're gonna do um, a half ounce of this. Okay. And then we're gonna do two dashes of, I really don't know what this is either, but it's a, um, it's a bitters, it's kind of like this red kind of color. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that one truthfully. <laughs> but this is the only drink that I know. This is the only drink I know that it's in. Um, so when I make Manhattan's or Old Fashions, it, I don't put this in it. So two dashes. So one, two. I'm pretty sure, although I'm not a bartender, that this drink is like past the legal limit of okay. the amount of alcohol in one drink. <laughs> All right. So the traditional bitters I'm going to put in there. Um, two dashes as well. But I just realized since I'm making two drinks. I need to be putting four of this, which means I also need to be putting two extra of this, the um, first bitters. So, have you made this one before? I have. I make it um, pretty regularly um, because I like to, especially if we go out for a dinner or I'm doing here with a glass of wine or something, and for us, the evening, if I just want something strong to sip on, I'll make this, or as I mentioned, like a Manhattan or the old fashioned. Um, because I, something like a, a, um, Moscow mule or a Kentucky mule, I'll tend to drink a little bit faster. Um, so this, because it's so strong, I do tend to just sip on it. So I make this quite frequently. 
Um, so this one, we actually went to a restaurant in Nashville uh, that is known for their handcrafted cocktails. And um, I told them what I liked, and they told me about this, and I liked it so much that I asked them for the recipe. So they gave it to me, so we've been making it since. And that's probably about a good like a year, year and a half ago. Um, otherwise, I would not have heard about this. So right now, I'm just stirring it. You want to make sure that you stir it really well, um, like a gentle stir. You more so want to make sure that the ice cubes like slightly melt a little bit, just to kind of how do I say water it down? But I think just kind of. Um, I don't know, mix it in more while we're on the cocktail. I'm not a bartender, by the way. This is just what I do at home and that I think tastes well. So, once I do all that, I put the strainer on, I get my glasses out. Again, you want to serve it neat, so no ice cubes. So, um, this is a stronger drink, so we'll not make a full glass of a drink. And if you have um, fresh lime, or I'm sorry, fresh lemon, um, you can do some zest over it. So it's where you actually kind of like a like a grater, um, like a cheese grater, but like a lemon grater. Kind of do that over top, um, just to kind of add a little bit of the lemon smell to it. And here we are. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Again, you hear my husband laughing in the background. Actually, I have to say, I was super worried about drinking this. I didn't think I was gonna like it at all, and I actually enjoy it. It's Good. Not, I could, but it's definitely a drink that I would sip on. You know, yes. it's not something that would it would take me a while to drink it. But it's, it's so, what it, what do you smell? Do you taste? It, it almost tastes like it. Almost tastes like okay. It has a fireball. Um, aftertaste to it, sort of. So maybe I like a little cinnamon that. or something. And there's no cinnamon in it. But yeah. I can see that. I do, think, do you taste it? I could, I could smell or taste like. Um, it's the bitters. That's what it is. Yeah, I don't want to say he's of it, but he's isn't the right word. But I, I could see how you would get there. Um, yeah. I think if we had some lemon zest on it, that I think it definitely adds to it, and it may take away that cinnamon. Yeah. Kind of aftertaste. I think you did awesome. Thanks. I gave you five stars too. I'm impressed. Thanks. I like it. 